Science at the Pratt Fish Hatchery can be as simple as adding alfalfa pellets to facility ponds. This farming operation fertilizes the water and sets up a biological chain reaction. The outcome? Natural food for baby fish that will soon be stocked in Kansas lakes. Weak old sawgai fry are very small and their food must be tiny as well. So hatchery biologists add pellets to the ponds. These quickly break down and their nutrients cause a bloom of living plant organisms called phytoplankton. In turn, that causes a rapid buildup of super small animals called zooplankton. Within a week, the water is teeming with this microscopic fish food. Hatchery workers monitor the activity by pulling a special sampling net through the water. This shows the level of zooplankton and helps ensure that plans are working. Often the samples are viewed under microscopes in the lab, but the larger plankton species like Daphnia and Copepods can be seen with the naked eye. Sampling shows growth of the sawgai fry as well. More than a million young fry are now in the early stages of a 30-day feeding program at Pratt that will grow them up to 2 inches long. Then they'll be transported to Kansas Lakes where this head start will help them become game fish for anglers. Zooplankton, coaxed into high populations at the hatchery, are the key. Bon Appetit! I'm Mike Blair for Kansas Wildlife and Parks.